Hi, this is Ammon with Ventures Truck Parts. Today we're going to show you how to install a Dana Spicer U-joint into a front axle shaft. Alright, to start our U-joint install on our front axle shaft, the tools that we're going to need is a wire brush, a scraper to remove the debris off the yoke ears of the axle shaft itself, a strip of fine sandpaper or emery cloth, a mini sledge, and a Dana Spicer U-joint. Alright, so to start, I just want to make a point. Uh, one thing that I always like to do is make sure that you leave the U-joint in the box and set it aside until you're ready to install the U-joint so that you don't have any debris get into the U-joint before you're ready to install it. Alright, so the first thing that I like to do when I start on the axle shaft to take the scraper that we talked about before and remove the debris off of the yoke ears. The reason that you need to make sure that you clean this very well is so that when you're tapping the U-joint caps in, you don't knock off any of this debris into the needles for the U-joint cap itself. Once you've removed the large piece, pieces of debris off of the axle shaft, take your wire brush that we talked about before. Go ahead and clean the inside of the yoke here as well. Remove any of that fine debris that may be left. And also the outer. And then you'll need to repeat that process on the inner axle shaft as well. Now that we've cleaned the yoke ears of our axle shaft with the wire brush, uh, it's time to install the U-joint. First, we'll need to take our U-joint out of our box. Dana Spicer U-joints will come with a packet inside the box with your C-clips that go into the machine section here of your U-joint cap to retain the cap into the yoke ear of the shaft. The U-joint uh, caps themselves are lined with needles all the way around this uh, inside diameter of your cap. One thing that I want to point out as you're going to install your U-joint, you want to make sure that these needles stay up against the wall of this cap. If you have the needle see if I can get one down here to demonstrate. If you have one of these needles come off of the wall of the cap, like so, and you go to install your U-joint cross into the cap, you're going to crush that needle and potentially break it in half and this cap won't seat on the cross as it should. So make sure that all of those needles there are lined up against the wall of the cap. Okay, so now to install the U-joint, I always like to start with the inner axle shaft first. Because it's heavier and longer, it's a lot easier to install the U-joint into the inner shaft first and add your outer shaft to it, then start with the outer shaft and add the long uh, inner shaft and have to manipulate the long shaft onto the U-joint after you've installed it to the outer. First we're going to want to take off two of our bearing caps and set them aside so that they don't uh, accumulate debris on them. And you're, going to, you're going to want to take one of the sides of this cross and install it into one of the yoke ears and push it through until you can slide the next side of the cross down and into the shaft. From there you're going to want to take one of your bearing caps and install it on one of the sides of the U-joint cross. And go ahead and tap on the axle shaft to drive that cap up through until you can see the machined groove for the C-clip protrude past the inner portion of this yoke ear. Now one thing to note, the reason why I do it the way that I do with the U-joint cap on the table 
is so that you're not having a direct force hitting on your new U-joint cap and deforming the outside edge of your U-joint cap inward and uh, causing a premature failure of your U-joint. So next we're going to want to take these C-clips that we talked about before. There will be four of them, one for each cap. Once you've driven the cap into the yoke ear, you're going to want to install your C-clip into the groove that we talked about. Just like that. And now you're ready to start on the opposite side. Take your U-joint cap, pull your U-joint up slightly, install the uh, cap onto the cross of the U-joint. Make sure that those needles are lined up and that you can spin your U-joint freely. Go ahead and tap that down to get it seated. Turn it over and drive it in the same way as the other side. Once you've driven that in, take your C-clip, install it into the groove in the cap, and now you're good to start on your outer shaft. So next, uh, we're gonna repeat that process. Remove the two U-joint caps off of the cross. Take our outer axle shaft. On the outer shaft now, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna actually uh, angle your axle shaft instead of the U-joint. So you're gonna angle the axle shaft over one side of the cross. Slide it over the opposite side of the cross and center your shaft. Okay, now that we've got the U-joint cross through the outer shaft, you're gonna to wanna to take one of your U-joint caps, install it on the cross, and into the yoke ear of the shaft. Go ahead and turn it over. And you're gonna to wanna to use the hammer like we did for the inner shaft. and drive that U-joint cap in until you can see that groove on the yoke side or the inside of the yoke ear and install your U-joint C-clip. Next we can raise this U-joint up slightly install the cap of our U-joint and install our C-clip. And we have a new Dana Spicer U-joint installed in our front axle shaft. One other thing that we like to do here is to use the emery cloth or light uh, grit sandpaper that we talked about before. We're gonna go ahead and clean up this bearing surface and also uh, repeat the process and clean up the seal surface so that your shaft is ready to install into your truck. You don't want to take too much off. Just go around this bearing surface, clean it up and make sure that you don't have any debris or burrs and you're ready to install your axle shaft. All right, now that we have our U-joint installed into our shaft, we have our bearing surface cleaned up and our seal surface cleaned up, this shaft should be ready to install into your truck. Uh, one thing that I wanted to note, uh, when you're installing a U-joint, you want to make sure that the cap to yoke ear uh, fitment is a, pre is a press tight fit. Uh, if your U-joint cap can slide in and out of the yoke ear of your axle shaft, your axle shaft is uh, no longer usable and, in, and uh, out of tolerance. You need to make sure that the tolerance between the U-joint cap and the yoke ear of your shaft is tight. We need to talk about the slinger flange that we uh, removed previously in the video. Uh, if your slinger flange is good, you may be able to reuse it. If it's not reusable, we do offer the slinger as a kit with seals, thrust washer, and bearing. They are also a Dana Spicer product. Thank you for watching our video. We will have a separate video to, to show you how to install a slinger bearing and seal kit into your truck.